good morning. Psalm 119 verses 9 to 16 say, How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Memorizing scripture is perhaps a neglected aspect of discipleship. The verses from Psalm 119 remind us, however, that growth in our relationship with Jesus is certainly helped when we hide your word in my heart, as verse 11 says. When we memorize scripture, we equip ourselves for spiritual warfare, just as Jesus was able to resist Satan's temptations in the wilderness by quoting verses from Deuteronomy. And when we memorize scripture, we fill our hearts and minds with truth. We think about whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy, as Philippians 4 verse 8 tells us. And when we memorize scripture, we allow the Holy Spirit to teach us his truth about Jesus, as Jesus tells us in John 16 verses 13 to 14. In fact, we have the gospel stories of Jesus because the first disciples remembered what he said and did. And if you look at the footnotes in your Bible, you'll quickly see how often New Testament writers quote from the Old Testament, most likely from memory. The first Christians were skilled in memorization. They had to be. Not everyone had a Bible. Today, we have easy access to Bibles. On the internet, on our cell phones, on our shelves, beside our beds in church pews. But it is still important to memorize scripture. So here are some practical ways to help us. First, pick a translation that you use often. Most likely you are already familiar with the scripture you will be memorizing. Second, read the passage slowly, several times. Notice each word, each phrase. Notice when words are repeated. Notice how the passage flows. Today's Bible translators are highly skilled, so there's probably a sense of rhythm to the passage. So even doing just these things will help you become a better reader of the Bible. Third, memorize a phrase at a time. Make sure you know it perfectly before moving to the next phrase. And then, make sure you know the next phrase perfectly. After that, go back to the first phrase and combine it with the second phrase. Make sure these are correct before you move to the third phrase, and so on. Fourth, try to speak the phrases out loud or not if out loud, move your mouth to say each word silently. Connecting the physical movement of your lips and, if possible, the audible sounds of your words helps with memorization. Fifth, if it's difficult to speak the phrases out loud, write them on paper. Writing helps memorization. And if that's difficult, Try typing them on a computer or cell phone. Sixth, if you can, join with two or three other people. It's amazing how memorization with friends motivates us. And finally, repeat, repeat, repeat. When you're making coffee, when you're standing in a lineup at the grocery store, 
when you're waiting at a red light, when you're out walking, when you're resting in the evening, repeat the scripture you memorize as often as you can. Repetition embeds scripture in our hearts and minds. As Psalm 119 verse 13 says, with my lips, I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. Oh, and one final point. Many of us memorize single verses. There's great value in doing this, but I promise you will have a richer understanding of the Bible if you can memorize whole passages, not just single verses. You will understand the context of each verse better, and therefore apply the verse in your life correctly. Above all, Rejoice in the gift that is the Bible. This is God's word. Let us treasure it as one rejoices in great riches. Let's pray. Lord God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you that you've given us your word and that through the scriptures you make known your goodness and grace through Jesus Christ to us. Lord, we acknowledge that the scriptures are breathed by God. They are your very inspired word. Help us, Lord, to hide your word in our hearts, to be strong when the times come by being able to refer to your word from memory. Help us, Lord, as we memorize your word, to live your word to put it into practice and to celebrate who Jesus is as we learn more about him in the scriptures. We thank you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you once again for joining these weekly devotions. And may you be blessed as you engage with the Lord through the scriptures, through your daily life, in prayer, and many other ways that the Holy Spirit guides you. And to Christ.